All right, hello everybody. I'm back working on the potion dashboard. Made some, some made some progress. Um, so now when we go to a website, we now have this setup screen, and this is gonna be you know the main gist of where things are being set up, especially for the first version. Like have this snippet injection here. Probably won't even have that for the first version because you know why do I need that? Um, you can add more customizations later and I'll, you know, that'll be in later releases. Better to just get something out quick. So this is the really the only setup we gotta do, main setup in the dashboard just to get a website, a potion website live. Um, so here, you know, you're just naming stuff. Um, you can set your domain, your custom domain. If they try to continue, make sure they at least have a field. Probably could do some more with that um, eventually. Just you know, make sure they're putting in valid URLs and stuff like that. But once you continue, you see you got this nice step um, kind of thing going on. Um, but yeah, this one, this is where you know you're setting up your domain records. You can copy these. I haven't implemented that, but this is also just dummy data. None of this is connected to the back end yet either you know eventually you know we're gonna have to update some stuff on our servers in the database um, but just getting the UI kind of going first so then they continue through that um, ideally it'd start probably checking DNS stuff in the background um, but yeah it's gonna save each step once you continue and then you know you could jump back and update things um, so this is kind of cool this is gonna be where it will you'll put like Note public notion URLs, which for potion to see your URL site, uh, your notion site, they're gonna have to be public. And most potion sites have like this kind of nasty um, URL. And so this is where you can make like a, a slug and it will convert in the website will convert those. And so you can add as many of these as you want. You can also delete these, so this works nice, and then it, it makes it so that you can only, you have to at least have one, like it won't let you just delete everything. Um, but then, you know, you can continue with that and haven't done anything with options, so that's where, that's where I'm at now. But good progress so far.